It's a 1967 Chevy Impala Fastback. Some extra parts for it here. And I've got some parts that actually go to it here. Hinges, chrome, extra grill, wheel wells. Has a motor and transmission. The motor's locked up. It's got a two speed power glide tranny in it. There's the taillights for it. It needs a windshield. But I got a parts car to go with it that has a good windshield in it. Needs floors. Interior work. All the glass is good except for the windshield. Rockers look good. Quarters are in nice shape. Trunks in real good shape. Second car was this 1967 Chevy Impala Fastback. Had the 283 with the two speed power glide in it. Boy, that thing had a heck of a passing gear. Get a little few parts up here in the dash. Door has a dent in it. So, as my dad said, there is a bonus car, a parts car, that goes with this car that um, will come with the purchase if you guys uh, wanted it. Uh, go check it out. Okay, this is the parts car that goes with that 1967 Fastback. It is a four door. The windshield is not cracked, but it is, it looks foggy in a couple spots down in the corners here. Not much to this, but it does come with the car. It's a 1955 or 56, I'm not sure. Dodge, pickup, step side, short bed. Really solid truck, I got it in a barn. I actually have another video of it when I first went to pick it up. Solid truck, it's got the V8 in it. I started working on the engine. I had it turning over. I just don't have a key for it, so I need to Put some power to the points. I gotta put some hoses on it to get it running. She cranks over good though. I believe all the glass is good except for one piece in the driver's door. does roll so three speed on the tree showing 22,000 miles probably 122 truck is all here need seat coverings floors are in pretty good shape Doors closed good and solid. 
bed's in real good shape. Got some nit the dings and dents and needs paint. It's still got the original wood floor in it, but somebody had covered it with this metal plate. The gate works good. I tried it. Make a good truck for somebody. Anyways, this is a 1963 Ford Econoline van. Straight six with a three speed on the column. Motor is freed up. I just haven't got it running yet. It's, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty tight van for the year. It needs some paint. Body work. Floors need some work. Dash is in real good shape. The truck is all here. Uh, seats. Engines all here. It's got a heater box down in there. Ready to be towed up onto a trailer. All the doors work properly. Just the back windows have glass in them. Side doors don't. This floor back here is in really great shape. And the back doors are in good shape. Check out this floor. There's the fuel tank and the straps for the van. Oh, there's a box of stuff I need to take out of it. This floor is actually in real good shape except for the side door. I'll check that in a minute for you. The roof is straight, no dents. There's a dent now on the outside. Got a little bit of rust on the floor. That's the extent of it here in this back part of the van. We got some tags in here, I'm sure I'm here but I need to sell some of these. 71. I got tons of cool ones though. But anyway, uh, but I'm just keeping them in here to keep them out of the ring. They do not come with a van. Step is good in this van. Needs floors up front though. That's it. Uh, I do have key. I do have a clear title. And all the glass is good. Let me just double check the back windows. Yep. All the glass is good. Looks in pretty good shape. It's in the ground pretty good though. Rockers look good, fenders look good. All the hubcaps are on it even. That's wild. I can't get in it. Car's all there, that's a cool uh, horn button there. So I guess it's a fastback. You guys want to put a year on this for me? 
I'm in Georgia, by the way. I'm heading to Alabama. Yeah, please put a year on this. Yeah, this is in pretty good shape. Bumpers rotted out on it. Oh, it says no trespassing right there. Jeez. Uh, huh. Last on the road in 98. By the tag. Put a year on this one. Let's see if this door opens. Yep, this one opens. Bucket seat, council car. Wouldn't mind having this. Um, dash is cracked. Let's see how many miles are on it. 20, it's showing 29,000, so it's probably 129. Pontiac Grand Prix. Let's go up here and try to look at the front. Not too bad shape. It's a doable car. I don't know if I should leave another note or not. I just looked in the windows of the house. It's it's definitely empty here. Then we got this old truck over here. It's a Ford. I don't know what year this is. Y'all can put a year on this for me. I'd appreciate it. But it seems solid. Wow, look at the cab on this thing. Look at that cab. I mean, that's nice. Looks solid. Original dash. Floors need a little bit of work. Step boards are gone. I don't know, that should tell you what year it is right there, huh? Front of that truck. No motor in this either. I can look right through that front end. Let's see. Yeah, this would be a good looking truck running down the road too. Definitely. Let's see if this door opens. Yeah. Solid, I mean. Solid as can be. I love how these floors are. You spill any water, it runs right out. Right on the ground. Yeah, look at that old blinker switch deal there. That's the old stuff there. Old keys are in it. Nice. Real nice. Again, put a year on this truck for me. Can you imagine this thing hot rotted up, cruising the streets, doing a little racing back in the day? God, I, I could picture doing it. This is a 1940 Ford Coupe. Needs some work, but uh, it's a nice little starter. He, he has the fenders for it. Split back window. Yeah, this is nice. Let's see if I can open this door. Yeah. These floors, of course. Well, it looks like somebody's been doing some metal work in here. Wild. Look at this seat. The seat goes clear back to there. I think this is just a just a front seat car. I guess that's why it's a coupe. She's pretty solid though. Look, no rot, no real heavy cancer. I might see a little bit of. Yeah, there's a little fiberglass work right there. So there is cancer on it. Nineteen forty. Tell you, 
32 up to 41. It's definitely a good year for cars. I mean, they're just cool. Just flat out cool. Here's another 1940 Ford. This one's a little more together than the first one we saw. This don't have a motor or chanty in it either. Tudor Coupe. Dashes in it. Needs floors in this too. Yeah, floors are real bad. You just see the metal torn up down there. I guess they were just trying to rip it out of there. Take a look at the back side of this thing. Now, can anybody tell me if those are the original taillights? Look at that thing. Imagine following this thing down the street. Somebody's in it dumping the clutch, popping it up a little bit. Dual exhaust, sounding good. God, I love these cars. Love them. Here's those fenders to that one out front that I videotaped earlier. But yeah, this is nice. Let's go around this side if we can. I guess this had a wing window in it. Yeah, this has got the original column in it. I mean, look at that. The roof is really nice shape. Ford Deluxe. I believe this is a Studebaker. It's a four door. Back door's a suicide. Yo. This is pretty cool. That's a plain Jane dash right there. Floors are gone. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. A little ashtray up there. Seats are here. You get the back door open. A lot of room back in here, boy. He can kick back. Well, Commander. Not sure what year that is. You all want to put a year on that for me. Feel free. But it looks like it's all there. It's all there. I don't know about the motor. Let's see if we can open the hood. Yeah, motor's in it. Looks like a straight six, flathead. Here's what looks to be a Lincoln. No motor, no tranny. Some of the parts are inside of it. It's a two door. It's a pretty cool looking car right there. Yeah, I don't know what year this would be. <clears throat> Y'all could put a year on that for me. I will get another picture of the front of this car. One of my viewers asked me to try to get better pictures of the fronts so they can have, uh, be easier for them to identify the cars. I think he said this was a Lincoln. I don't see no markings on it. And now I got the sun in my eyes. Look at that big window back here. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, that thing is humongous. Oh, and there they are. There's one, there's a window there. 
A lot of parts in here. The grill is in here. Oh yeah, looks like a lot of the parts are in. I don't see the dash stuff, the gauges or anything. But this car seems pretty, uh, well, there's some rot there in the quarter panel. That's a cool car. That almost looks like the one from the, uh, well, no, it ain't. No, no way. Sorry, I won't even mention that. Yeah, let me know what year and if I'm right about it being a Lincoln. Pretty solid though.